So what you will need is some threads. These are very important to be a strong quality, high quality thread. You don't want to use anything cheap because that can jam up your machine and make it break. You also want to use a iron. Any household iron is useful for pressing out seams and making everything look professional. A pressed seam can make your whole entire project look so much more professional and it can make your garments look much better. You'll also need some fabrics. These fabrics are up to you. The fabrics that you choose can really determine how your final garment looks. A completely different print and texture can completely change a design and make it so different from what it was before. So keep in mind that it's really up to you what you decide you want to make your garment from. It's so important that you choose the fabrics that reflect you the most. And you'll also need some sewing pins. Some straight pins are so important because they help to keep your fabric together once you begin sewing. So this is a essential piece that you'll need as well as a measuring tape. This will be important even though we're not using any sewing patterns. You will still need a measuring tape so that you can take accurate measurements and be able to decide how big you, or small you want your garment to be. You also need a really nice flat surface for you to be able to lay out your fabric and cut it out and somewhere there's a space for you to sew basically. You'll also need both fabric cutting shears and also paper cutting shears. You'll need the fabric cutting shears most importantly this is a sharp pair of scissors made for fabric and you can only use it on fabric you can't use it on anything else because you can make your fabric shears blunt so that is the holy rule of sewing is only using your fabric scissors on fabric